Good morning everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today we are going to do the second question of the NCA 2020 Calculus Level 2 exam and we shall be able to do that if you follow me throughout the video. Don't forget if you have not watched video 1, go and watch them and if you have not watched video 3, it will be out in a couple of weeks time. So let's go. So the question 2 looks like that. They are given the density function, the, the function of fx is given is that this is a cubic graph. Uh, this is a positive cubic because the ending point is going up. So it's going to be up, down, up. So this is a positive cubic. So this is a positive cubic. So if you differentiate a positive cubic, f1x is going to be a positive parabola. A par positive parabola has a u-shape, a negative parabola has a n-shape. So now we need to know is it going to be a parabola, how are we going to find the turning point? So at fx, at this point here, the maximum point, at this point and the minimum point, the gradient is zero. So at that point, if you bring it down, the gradient or the f1x is going to be at zero. And at that point, the minimum point, the gradient or the dy dx is also at zero. So these two points will be on the graph and you know it's a u-shape. Just join the graph and that will give you a simple achieve. Great. Good. We shall continue with question two now or question B, 2B. Okay, 2B looks like that. Okay, so 2B is going to be find the coordinate of the maximum point. So you are looking at the maximum point, okay, on the curve given by that equation. Y equal to 2x cubed minus 42x plus 240x plus 8. And you are going to tell me where is the x coordinate of the maximum point. Okay, so the first thing you do to find maximum point, you need to differentiate. So two, this is the equation, y equal to 2x cubed minus 42x plus 240x plus 8. When you differentiate, the first derivative is going to be 6x squared, bring the 3 down, 6x squared minus 84x plus 240. 8 remains uh, not feature because they will differentiate a number, it's been gone. Okay, so once you have that, you need to find the turning point. To find the turning point, dy dx equals to 0. So that equation there, the first derivative is going to be equal to 0. Factorize it, it's going to be 6x squared minus 14x plus 40. And then you do the normal factorizing, you found that 6x minus 4, x minus 10. And then you know that x equal to 4 or x equals to 10. Okay, once you have done that, you need to know whether x equal to 4 or x equal to 10 is the maximum or minimum point. To do that, we have to do the second derivative, okay? The second derivative, you need to differentiate one more time of that equation. So when you differentiate that, it's going to be 12x minus 84, okay? So to test the second derivative, you're going to substitute the value of x equal to 4 and x equal to 10 into the equation. If it is a positive answer, then it's a minimum point. If it is a negative answer, then it is a maximum point. I'll repeat again. If it is a positive answer, Okay, then it is a minimum point. If it is a negative answer, it is a maximum point. Okay, okay. so now we're going to differentiate, uh, put uh, x equal to 4 into that equation. So 12 times 4 minus 84 will give you minus 36. So minus will give you a maximum point. That's what we want. So x equals to 4 is at the maximum point. And we need to double check on 10. So when x to the 10, put it in the equation, 12 times 10 minus 84 is plus 36. So it's a positive answer. It's a minimum point because they ask you what the coordinate, x coordinate of the maximum point. The x coordinate is 4. And that will give you a merit in that paper. Okay? Great. We will continue now. And the next question is a very simple kinematics. Okay? So velocity is given as uh, 3x squared minus 5t. You are going to find the acceleration when t equal to 2. Acceleration is the derivative of the velocity, so di differentiate it. So going to be 6t minus 5. So when the acceleration is at uh, when time is 2, substitute t equal to 2 into that equation. So acceleration when t equal to 2, 6 times 2 minus 5 is 7. And that is a very simple achieve. Okay, great. Now we do the next merit question. Is the reverse of what we've done before, okay? 
So now, the gradient function, this is the gradient, and you want to plot the graph for the function, okay? So, you need to know at the point zero, they are the turning points, okay? So first, you know that this is could be minimum or maximum. This could be minimum or maximum. This is a negative parabola. So when you integrate a parabola, a negative parabola, you will get a negative cubic. So it's going to look like that. So this point here, at this point C, you bring it down, it's going to be a minimum point, and that point there is going to be a maximum point. You join that graph, so there's a minimum point, maximum graph point, and that is a negative cubic because it's going down, and that will give you the next merit. Not too bad, right? Great. The last question is the excellence question, uh, and and i done it and it doesn't take too long. So you need to know a bit of algebra to be able to solve this. Okay, so a cubic function is given by that. That equation there has turning point. Turning point means you need to differentiate. Okay, so you need to find the first thing, dy dx. It occur at 3 and minus 5. So the first thing you do, you're going to differentiate it. So there's a bracket here, sorry. It's going to be 3ax squared plus 2bx plus c. Got it so far? So, as always, when turning points, the f1x or dy dx always equal to 0. So, that equation equal to 0 at turning point. Okay? So, there's turning point as x equal to 3. So, what we do, we're going to substitute 3 into that equation. So, 3a x 3 squared plus 2b times 3. Okay? Plus c, that will be equal to 0. Okay? Because turning point equal to 0. Expand it, 27a plus 6b plus c equal to 0. That's the equation when x equal to 3. Do the same thing when x equals to minus 5. So the same thing when x equals to minus 5, substitute into this equation. So 3a minus 5 squared plus 2b times minus 5 plus c. Expand out to uh, 75a because this 25a, 25 times 3a to 75a and this becomes minus 10b plus c equal to 0. They ask you to find C in terms of A, so you need to eliminate the B. So we have these two equations. To eliminate the B, the coefficient of B have to be the same. To do that, you make 30. So to get 30, you multiply by 5. So 27A uh, plus 6B plus, there's a square, sorry, plus C, you multiply by 5. That equation is now going to be 135A plus 30B plus 5C equals to zero. Similarly, this equation, you are going to multiply by 3 because you want to make the coefficient of b to be 30 or minus 30. So, 75a times 3 is going to be 225a minus 30b plus 3c is going to be zero. So, you have two equations now and to eliminate the b, we're going to add the two equations because minus 30b plus 30b will be eliminated. So, we're going to plus these two equations. So, 225a plus 135a is going to be 360a. 3c plus 5c is going to be 8c. Minus 30b plus 30b eliminated equals to 0. Minus 8c on both sides. So or minus 360a on both sides. So 8c remains. So minus 360a. So to solve for c, you divide by 8 on both sides. So minus 360 divided by 8 will give you minus 45a. So c equals to minus 45a. That's all you need to do because they asked you to find c in terms of a. So if you have done that, if you can do this uh, well, you will go through this process again. If you can do that, you will get an excellence in that paper. Okay. So again, uh, you need, this is calculus. You need to solve using calculus and a little bit of algebra. So again, if you're not sure, watch the video again and should ace this paper before long. Have a good day, everyone, and wait for the next video, which is coming out very soon which is question 3 of the 2020 NCA exam. Cheers everyone, take care.